They screaming peace when there ain't no peace Israel prophesying in the streets Look at me, the center of attention Black Messiah coming with a vision Coming with a vision Black Messiah coming with a vision They screaming peace, it ain't no peace We prophesying in the streets We seeking peace in the streets of Babylon Brandison, Glock 40, tucking heat like a carry-on Sending against the fathers, got me sleeping, I napping on Christ the King revealed, this area phenomenon Kick it against the bricks, lose your soul when that fire comes We purified, better than gold, got my Bible on And that's all that I know, where in Babylon Don't fall, watch it blow, ayy Switching it up, the nation's gon' drink it I'm talking to cup, don't care what you thinking Believe in the gospel, the godly's stinking The fires of heaven gon' gather for dinner The eat of the flesh, the wicked, the sinner Your mama, your sister, your daddy, your cousin If they issue, if they mind, they don't repent this With the ark, right? Uh, let's just let's make it clear. The woman ain't got give me um Psalms 100 and verse 3. Just want to make sure it's clear because let me ask you this oh, though yeah, yeah, yeah. by us knowing that you said what um, uh, um, the, this, the, it represents the penis and the vagina. So, how are they gonna stop us from killing each other in the hood? How are they gonna stop us from causing baby mama, baby daddy drama? How are they gonna stop the STDs? If you're on, you can't, it's, it's a mind thing. So, but that's what I'm trying to so you. I feel like this. We were trained to hate each other. True, I agree. We were trained to hate our black women. Okay. I call them. It's just the whole. It's, well, by calling them, you right. So we were trained to hate like, our. We were trained to hate each other. We were trained to hate our sisters by calling them bees and hoes yeah. and all that, right? Yeah. Go ahead. And the only way we can get rid of everything is just change our mindset. Just to change. Okay. How? How? Okay, what's going to govern that mindset change? So what's, what's in the, the uh, in what you, you believe in Kemet? Yeah. Okay, so what in Kemet is going to cause that change? What, do y'all got laws? Do y'all got commandments? No. So how is it going to stop me, a new from pulling up on you and saying, nigga, did you talk to my old lady? Pa! Bring it out. How? It's, it's just knowledge yourself, I can say. So let's let you know, bro. We finna teach you the truth. But watch this. First, let's show you the, the woman ain't God. Read what you got. Psalms chapter 103 and verse 3. Who forgiveth all thine iniquities? Psalms 100 and verse 3. 100. Now, we gonna show you that because I asked you, how is um, Kimmy gonna change the community? You said, you don't know. Am I correct? Yeah. So why would you be in something that's not gonna bring about change? Why would you bring up, why would you be in something? You got to love for your people, right? You're, you're right in the right place. I respect that, you understand? But I'm just trying to show you that being in Kemet isn't going to change nothing. You just said it out your own mouth. Because yeah. dude can roll up right now and blow our brain. I said, you just talk to my old lady. Yeah. So now, that's what I'm trying to show you. The Bible is going to change things, not Kemet in that belief. Because watch this, what you got? Psalms. Chapter 100 and verse 3. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. So wait a minute. Did it say the Lord, she is God? Know ye that the Lord, he is God. So it didn't say she is God. It said the Lord, he is God. Read. It is he that have made us. Wait a minute. It's what? It is he that have made us. It is he that made us. You understand what I'm saying? Read that curse. And not we ourselves. Which, which so we first? ain't procreate ourselves. That's what the, what Kim and preaches, right? Yeah. So we tell you, we read you right now. That which one? That ain't factual. Mm -hmm. You understand? Which one? Which now watch this. Does Kim it show? Which one? How we got over here to this land? This one right here. Yeah, over he, there. He said this one right here is Christ. Okay, you said it. Yeah. Hey, what? No, the mic ain't working. Working now. I'm gonna cry now. Here with you. Hey, what's your name? Get out, Larry. Larry, I want you to stay on pause right here. Mm -hmm. Larry, we going over right now. What's gonna save our conditions? The black on black crime, the HIV, the syphilis, you understand know what I'm saying? The abortions. We're trying to figure out a solution. The brother here came with Kimmy. So now, what's her name, bro? Because I don't want Jermaine. Jermaine. Jermaine said, you know, it's Kimmy, it's Kimmy, it's Kimmy. So we saw him, it ain't Kimmy. Because we asked him, how's that gonna stop the black on black crime? Right. He said he don't know. I asked him, how's that gonna stop 
the uh what else? The the the, the um abortion, the STDs. He said he don't know. So we're trying to show my brother here that it's the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High God that's going right. to change the community. As you looking at us, because guess what we were? Give me Titus three and three. Guess what we were? Whoremongers, murderers, thieves, whatever. We played all that. Everybody came from a different branch of life. But now we said, wait, we love our people. We look like you said, how to respect our sisters. We know how to respect our sisters now. You know why? Because we know our role there. Bro, what's your name again? Larry. Larry. I want you to pay attention. Watch the read you got. Titus chapter 3 and verse 3. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish. There we go. So we let you know we want to play that side of being the ones oppressing our people. Being pushing sisters to get abortions. Being in that game to my go do that hit for me. We, we, didn't, we didn't experience that. We didn't see that. You know what I'm saying? So now we're on the right side showing you how to fix the community. You know why? Because we were once a part of destroying the community. Right. right. You understand what I'm saying? You with me, bro? Yeah. So now watch this. Can you read? For we ourselves uh, also were sometimes foolish, uh -huh. disobedient, deceived. Wait, wait. Read that. Deceived. deceived. We were deceived in Christianity. We were deceived in Islam. We were deceived in... Kim it! Right. There's a lot of our brothers in that religion. We gonna be, give me that to do around 2864 real quick. Just showing you, bro, when we came out on Slay City. Did we come on Slay City, is that fact? So you believe that? You believe that too, Larry? Yeah. Now hold on, now I got to pause everything just to show you that first to bring you back around to the point. So now give me around 2868. Deuteronomy, chapter 28. Hold on, does Kim it, or whatever you believe in Kim it, does it teach you about the slave ships? Bro, you ain't got to think that long, come on. Don't even do it like that, bro. Don't even stall me out like that, man. Yeah. Don't even think like, oh, let me think. No, you know it's not there. Yeah. But that's fine. We're here to give you the solution now. Mm -hmm. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Wait, wait, wait. Yo. You trying to take our people back to Egypt. The Lord told us, look, he's going to bring us back into Egypt. Why? Because let's see what that Egypt represents. Let's see what Egypt represents to the most high. Read. Exodus chapter 20. Right in verse up. two, Larry, I wait, Larry, Larry, I need Larry, Larry, come here, bro, come here, bro. Hey, well, hey, bro, I need you to pay attention. You know why? Because this, this life or death, you know what I'm saying? We trying to fix. Hey, in order to fix our community, gonna start with us men, bro. So we gotta pay attention. You know what I'm saying? Hey, let me ask you this. Just, just, just throwing this out there. If Michael Jordan, LeBron James, everybody was together, standing right here, and you was an inspiring basketball player, would you be listening to Michael Jordan? And LeBron James on how to better get jump shot if he was right here. If you was an inspired basketball player, you was a senior in high school putting up 20, you trying to put up 40. You trying to learn how to put up 40, 50. If Michael Jordan, LeBron James, who else? Give me some else uh, uh, famous basketball player. Kobe Bryant, all of them. If they, was, if they were having a seminar, if they were having a seminar, hey, sis, don't worry about it, sis. Come before, hey, you pull over too. Don't worry about it, sis. He, he, he in and out. Oh, okay, all right. He, he got it, he got it. Come on, what you got? Read. Exodus. So my, my question was, if they was here teaching about shooting the basketball, how to play defense, would you pay attention? If I was into it, yeah. If you was into it, what about you, Larry? So we try to tell you, in order to be a god upon this earth, in order to be a king and rule upon this earth, pay attention. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Now watch this, what you got? Exodus chapter 20 and verse 2. I am the Lord thy God which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Wait a minute, it said out of the house of what? Out of the house of bondage. So Egypt represent bondage or slavery, captivity. Right. You understand, Larry? So now go back to Deuteronomy 2 and 8, because remember about the slave ships. I don't want to forget the point, then we're going to work it back around. But I want to get the point about the slave ships, because I asked you, did Kimmich show the slave ships? You said no. So I'm just going to show you the point of the Lord was showing the slave ships ahead of time, thousands of years ago. It was prophesied. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So Larry, I'm finna see if you was paying attention now. I'm finna see if you were paying attention. What Egypt means? What did we read in Exodus? What Egypt was? See that? What was Egypt representing? Slavery and bondage. Larry? You ain't with me, Larry. No, Larry, you ain't with me. I just... My brother got it, so I know it ain't me to teach you because my brother got it. 
I need you to pay attention, Larry. Watch this read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So he's gonna bring us into slavery again. So wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me get that side. Let me, let me get the side real quick. We ain't got okay, I'll pray. So I bet. Hey, so it said the Lord's gonna bring us to slavery again. So now wait a minute. Did this not happen to our people? Especially here, where you from? You from Jackson originally? What part you grew up in? West side? So all praise. I know how y'all ride. So now, you telling me you know for a fact that slavery existed in Mississippi, right? We got still got the cotton fields. We still got all the things. Larry, don't you run away, Larry. This is the most important thing you're going to get in your life. You understand? Now watch this read. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Hey, what's going on, big dog? What's your name? V. Who? who? I'm V, man. V? V, what up with you? The water. So now, Larry, hold up. Don't try to slide out. You got a call? Now, V. Okay, if you got a roll, it's all good. But V. V. Now, we're going over... The, let me ask you this first, because I want to. I'm, I'm gonna show you what we're going over, but I'm gonna ask you a question first. Yeah. How did our ancestors get over here to this side of the world when we came from the west coast of Africa? How did we get on this side of the world? I think they went and came and got us from over there and brought us here. Okay. Yeah. So, That's what I think. V, all right, you on point. But let 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 the Bible be true in every man of life. So let's see what the Bible say. Not Kim it. Watch this read. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So he, the Lord is going to bring us into slavery again because we was in Egypt the first time we was in slavery under the Egyptians. Moses delivered us, right? Remember right. part the Red Sea? And right. we left that captivity. So up. now the Lord said, look, I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about a future prophecy. I'm going to bring you into slavery again. But what form of transportation did they use to get us from the west coast of Africa? V? Bring it up. Bo, what about you? What you say? Slave ships. Slave ships. So now, read that. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Slavery again. With ships. With what? With ships. With what? With ships. With ships. Cargo slave ships. Over thousands of ships back and forth through that um, transatlantic slave trade. Right. Millions of us died just even in that passage. Right. You understand? Before we even got to the land masses of, you know, even South America, Cuba, Jamaica, Haiti, North America. We died even doing it. They dumped us over. Some of them, they dumped us over. They got the ships following us for miles and miles because they know they're finna eat something. What they gonna eat? Us. That's true. That's facts. So that make the Bible true. You ain't gonna find that in Kimmy, bro. What? That ain't in Kimmy. Don't reach over there. Don't put your hand over there in Kimmy, bro. Come back to the Lord. Come back to being the king of God upon earth. You understand? Read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. By the way whereof I speak unto thee. Moses is saying, look, by the way I'm telling y'all this, by the way I'm breaking this down, by the way I'm telling y'all, I see this vision, this is what the Lord showed me going to happen to y'all because y'all ain't keeping my commandments. Y'all ain't keeping God's commandments. This is going to happen to y'all. That's what he said. Read. Thou shall see it no more again. Thou shall what? See it no more again. We did not see our homeland no more again. We we still over here in Jackson, Mississippi. Right. In in various parts of South America and North America. We still reside here. Read. And there ye shall be sold. So when the slave ships pulled up, when those slave ships went, picked us up from the west coast of Africa, they already broke our families up. Because they might capture my wife that day. They might capture my uncle them the other day. They might catch me another day. We got my kids somewhere. We was already, they already was working, splitting our households from the beginning. So why in the hell would we want to believe a religion a white man taught us when they first think of destroying our nation and our race? Right. So why are we going to sit back, because I, I say that with you, bro, B, because you got the representation on your neck right now. You probably ain't know it, but that's the representation of the white man. Right. He made us, he made us worship the images right here when they came over to South America or whatever, the conquistadors. They forced that image upon us, not only the image, but the philosophy that go behind it. What? Not only the philosophy, but the, the black man, you just a nigga. We above you. Obey your slave master. All that follows that, even to this time here. Because we get some of that old stuff from our great-great-grandparents passed down. Because why you celebrate the 4th of July? Just throwing it out there. Sidebar. Why? Independent Day. She, okay, Independent Day for who? Yeah, I feel the same. <laughs> no, I want you to say it. I want you to say it with me. Independence Day for who? Hey, but the white folks and they Oh, okay. Independence yeah. Day for the white folks. They ain't yeah. got nothing to do with them. Yeah. Right. 
You understand? Just throwing that this aside, bar. Now let's get back to this shift. Read. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. Nigga, nigga sold in Jackson, Mississippi, downtown. We got us a, some slaves coming up from New Orleans to Natchez. Now I'm sending them all the way from Natchez to Jackson, Mississippi. We got them, we're going to disperse them elsewhere throughout the Mississippi Delta, where we picked the most cotton in the Mississippi Delta. We, of the whole of the whole world. We pick, that's it. So that you can't tell me this Bible ain't true. Well, you can't tell me Kimmy could ever match up to what the Most High God brings forth upon the earth. Right. Ever think that, bro? Now read. And there you shall be sold. Wait, wait, we're going to be what? Sold unto your enemies. Wait, did it say our friends? Your enemies. Uh, who, now, who was selling us now? Let's get blank. We're going to get straight to the point. We ain't ducking. We ain't, we ain't jiving. We're going to tell the truth. Who in the hell sold us? What nation of people, let me ask you like this, maybe, I'm sorry, let me, let me get a little more detail, I, excuse me, sometimes I can't be as detailed as I should be. What nation of people sold us? White. The white man, right? Yeah. Well, now, nah, what the Bible say? And then you shall be sold unto your enemies. Wait, 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 unto our who? Your enemies. So the white man was selling us. Read. For bondmen. For what? Bondmen. Slave men, you men. And bond woman. Slave woman, your women, your princesses, your daughters. Read. And no man shall buy you. No man shall buy us, meaning what? No man was going to redeem us physically out of that condition. What? Think about it. Have y'all seen these new series they got going on? They got them going on. What's the other one? Uh, uh, Underground Railroad. Y'all ain't checking in out like that? I've been seeing this stuff be coming on TV. Like Check it out. Don't be afraid. Your history is it's parallel to the Bible. That's the, the Bible, I mean, excuse me. Things that happen only fulfill that uh, this Bible is true. I watched fucking the Black Klansman the other day. And the Black Klansman. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what's the name of it? It's Judas and something. Judas and uh, what is it called? Judas and the Black Messiah. Yeah. So now, so now we can, that's a heavy movie, right? Yeah, it's heavy. Because what? He betrayed his own brother. But even though they had the spirit, that's even prophecy. That we were gonna have the spirit to want to fight up against these white men. Black man, let's take the guns. Martin Luther King, well, hell, let us march and sit in and let them beat the hell out of us. They try to find solutions. You know what I'm saying? You can't condemn them in their efforts because at that time they was working with only what they had. They didn't have the complete truth like we have. I ain't gonna say complete truth. They don't have the truth like we have now. Right. The understanding that we have now. Right. But the Bible already prophesied that we was gonna rise up. We can tired of being kicked. We getting tired of being all this, so let's find a way to rally up and do something. What is who is rallying up now? Anybody. Nothing. Crickets. Like, we going to get no, you looking at them. You looking at them. Look around, man. Look, at right. Look around. We rising up spiritually. We used to scream "Black Power" while Heron was pushed, but at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I, see, we deliver the truth.